Hi, you are all charged up for your JE mains, which is to be held on 2nd of April. So, this session is an icing on the cake session where the cake has already been baked. I'm not going to help you with the basics over here. What I'm going to do over here is to pinpoint those strategies that you need to follow in the upcoming three days so that at least you secure a rank and at max you get the best possible rank, which is definitely the all India topper. So let's talk about the physics section. Physics in general has 30 questions. And if you talk in terms of the time count, that will be like two minutes per question, which is fairly decent. Now, if you answer a question correctly, you'll be given four marks. If the question is incorrect, you'll be, the deduction is one marks, that is minus one marks. And if you have not opted for any option, or if you leave the question, it will be counted as zero. Now, all the questions are single correct questions. So, if you have a question where you feel like that you have two options, both of which appear to be correct solution in that type of questions, you have to be very clear that you have to go with the option which is the best possible solution. Otherwise, that question with two options will be treated as incorrect and you will be losing one marks, which is very, very precious. Now, there is an interesting trend that everyone should understand and analyze at this stage. That is, the cutoff for the general category in 2016 was 100 marks out of 360. When you talk about 2015, it was 105. And when you talk about 2014, it was 115. So, if any aspirant is able to solve 10 questions in all the three sections, you are sure that you are going to qualify. That brings me to the next point. If you talk about any paper, nearly 40% of the question, that is 12 questions out of the 30 are perfectly solvable. Let me give you an example from the last year paper. We had a question on combination of capacitors. Then there was a question on relation between alpha and beta for a common emitter configuration. Then there was a question on galvanometer to ammeter conversion for the full scale deflection. So these were questions which were exactly doable and any student who has studied will be in a position to solve them. So, now let us take a brief glimpse into the mark distribution in different segments. So, if we talk about mechanics, you can expect seven questions from mechanics. If you talk about mechanical properties of solids and fluids, that will have two questions. Kinetic theory of gases, heat and thermodynamics, that will have three questions. Oscillation of wave, you can anticipate two questions. Electromagnetism, which is very, very important, will have nine questions. Ray and wave optics, three questions. And modern physics, which has, which you can anticipate to have four questions from that section. In last year, there were six questions from modern physics. Now, let us try to analyze the intersection point. What do I mean by intersection point is that you can correlate the topic kinetic theory of gases, thermal properties of matter and thermodynamics with states of matter and likewise thermodynamics section of chemistry. Likewise, if you talk about modern physics, you can correlate that with atomic structure and radioactivity being a first order reaction can be correlated with chemical kinetics. The point is you can correlate these topics and that will take care of not only physics but also chemistry. Likewise, if you are good with trigonometry, you can easily solve questions from combination of SHM. Now, let me quickly take you through the different segments and the must-dos or the must-revisable topics. So, if you talk about units and dimension, error analysis, dimensional analysis, least count and pitch of vernier caliper and screw gauge, that is a must one question is sure shot from this region. If you talk about laws of motion, problem based on free body analysis involving cases of static friction is a must. When you talk about work energy power, vertical circle, 
वर्क एनर्जी थ्योरम कंजर्वेशन ऑफ एनर्जी एंड प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन कोलिजन आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट रिजिड बॉडी डायनामिक्स विच इज विच जनरली हैज टू क्वेश्चन एवरी ईयर सो कंजर्वेशन ऑफ मोमेंटम एंड सिंपल क्वेश्चन ऑन एप्लीकेशन ऑफ पैरल एंड परपेंडिकुलर एक्सेस थियोरम विल बी वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट calculation of torque is one another important topic let's talk about gravitation different velocities related to satellite kepler's law and variation of g will be a hot cake properties of matter in this segment stress strain because of supply of heat is a oft asked question bernoulli's equation torricelli's equation surface tension heat current change in dimensions due to heat supply thermal conductivity newton's laws of cooling black body radiation and stephen's law will take care of the entire properties of matter and as i said thermodynamics and kinetic theory of gases should be studied in correlation with the chemistry section let's talk about oscillation and waves composition of two shm different parameters related to shm damped oscillations forced oscillations and resonance doppler's effect which is very very important standing waves open and closed organ pipes so this takes care of the entire segment of class 11th now let us focus on few must do topics of class 12th section so if you talk about electrostatics focus on gauss law applications mixed question based on the relationship between electric field and potential equipotential surfaces connection of capacitors is very very important and when you talk about connection of capacitors you study that in correlation with the kvl and kcl that you apply in case of current electricity also apart from that in current electricity you should focus on different bridges like wheatstone bridge potentiometer and the like let's talk about moving charges and magnetism this is a very important segment because every year questions from application of biot-savart's law and ampere circuit law is asked moving coil galvanometer is again a very important segment that you guys need to focus let's talk about electromagnetic induction here lc oscillations self and mutual inductance are very very important let's talk about ac so in case of ac phasors the phasor diagram related to different circuit resonance in case of series lcr circuit and lc oscillations are very very important the next topic is em waves which is perfectly doable let's talk quickly about optics here interference diffraction polarizations young's double slit experiment are from wave optics and from ray optics you have total internal reflection angle of deviation prism and optical instruments and as i have said in the beginning when you talk about modern physics that can obviously be correlated to the sections in chemistry as well and apart from that you have to focus on transistor as an amplifier different configurations boolean algebra hydrogen spectra matter waves and finally if you talk about communication system i would like to focus on modulation so that takes care of all the important segments that you guys have to at least revise when you talk about 11th and 12th sections now finally just before the day of examination you have to ensure that you get a proper nap that is at least 6 to 8 hours of proper sleep on 1st of april the fool's day is very very important so that you are not fooled on the day of examination the second thing you have to understand is you will be just getting 2 minutes for each question so it is imperative that you do not get struck to a particular question if that time threshold is surpassed finally time management in the examination is very very important and as i said that any aspirant who is able to solve a minimum of 10 questions correctly in all the three segments is going to qualify for sure so i wish you all the best for your je mains and i'm sure if you follow these tricks you'll be coming out with flying colors wish you all the best thank you